Hey folks, Amnesia here. Um, just wanted to walk through and make a video on the um, ARC, the 1.9 threads, and then also I'm going to make a second video on the um, 1.3 1.1 threads, sort of the, um, the threads we're using in our new World Carthage. So for those of you who have played this game before and know all about uh, the ARC 1.9 threads, the Faux Tools website, you can literally skip this and then uh, go on to the second uh, video if you're having trouble sort of adjusting those familiar websites to um, what we're doing in the, in the new world where you don't have 1.9 buildings. But anyway, what I want to walk through is first off um, in this video, what is an ARC and then um, why is it so powerful and then how to use the 1.9 threads that are common in other worlds. I think that's a good background for uh, what goes on and you can translate that down to what we're doing in our newer world. So first off, I'm going to show you what an arc is. Um, this is my arc in another world. It's level 95. Um, what you hear most commonly is about people trying to get it up to level 80. The reason it gets to level 80 is that the bonus, you can see over here on the bottom left, um, at level 80 gets to 90% and from there goes up 0.1% each level. It also gets more expensive. So it's kind of the 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 pivot point between um, costing more slash, uh, you know, getting a lower return for that, that FP. Now, people definitely take their arcs well beyond um, level 80, and there's good reasons to do it, but that's probably not kind of the first thing, um, you know, first thing you do once you get your arc up to 80. Now, why are um, people so uh, fired up about the, the, the arc 80? Um, number one is that you can help your building, your guildmates, grow their buildings at literally no cost to the investor. So if you're paying 1.9%, you can look here at the rewards over here. So the rewards on this building are 1710. Someone investing in that at 1.9 would put on 1710 and then another 0.9, whatever that comes out to. You know, they invest that number of FP on this building, they get exactly that back. So that allows them to do a couple of things. One, they can take uh, FP that they have banked up here on the at the top in their bar, turn it into the bank. They can run recurring quests and use their chateau to generate goods and other nice things. Um, and th those are all great things. And so it allows the, you know, if you have five people in your guild taking all these spots at 1.9 times that, it basically minimizes the cost to the owner to level that building. Um, and so, you know, if you do leveling an expensive building like the Ark, this is a very helpful tool. Um, the 1.9 threads can lower the cost down to like 24,000 FP, which is a lot, but you know, way less than the gross price of these, um, of these buildings. Now, the other nice thing for having a strong arc is that you can also use it to go out and snipe people. And so as you can see from here, anytime on this one, I get a 91.5% bonus. I'll just show you a snipe and how that kind of works. Sniping is whenever you go on someone else's building, and you usually do this with people in your neighborhood or something like that, you know, friends that are very lazy um, about how they load their buildings. But in this case, this guy had a Zeus. Um, I put 432 FP on it. I'm getting back, so it's like 498. So I'm making uh, 66 FP for locking in that spot. And, you know, there's a couple of others above it. So that's the great thing about sniping is that it's another way to make FP off of your arc. So it's a money maker and also it's an RQ machine and benefits the, the rest of your guild. So now how do you figure out um, what, uh, what this costs to level up? So for this case, I'm just going to use the example of a level 10 Zeus. Now there's a website literally called faux.tools. You go into here, I have it bookmarked, you pick the, the Zeus, the, the building you want to do. In this case, I'm going to show you the Zeus. Um, you would go up here, percentage of global investors, assuming 90%. Uh, I was going to do a level 10 Zeus, so let's go go level 10 Zeus. So you can see here a couple things. So level 10 Zeus, 90% um, percentage of global investors. Um, you see these numbers down here, which are the FP to secure... Um, the, to secure the place for each for each level. Um, what you do is you look down here and you can see that it costs 510 to level the building and it costs, you know, total cost of the other 319. Now, how does that work? Is that you're selling each of these spots for 1.9 times. So what you would do is come over here and this says that you've got to add 300 FP to get this set up. So 
you would literally go and add 300 FP onto your Zeus. I don't have the Zeus open, but you'd add 300 FP into your into your Zeus. You go into your Zeus, and let's say in this case, my Zeus is up here. You know, I'll just open it up. This is a level 62 Zeus, but you open up the Zeus. Let's pretend it's level 10. Add 300 FP. Put it in. Pretend I put it in there. I've got 300 FP on my Zeus, and then I come over here, and what I'm going to ask for is these two spots. I'll come over here, ask for these two spots, and then copy those into, you know, a 1.9 thread. So I'd come over here, I've pasted them, come over here, place the, the spots in there. I'm not actually going to post them because I haven't primed it. Post them in there, bam. And then somebody comes along, they call those spots, and um, they fill them. So that's the how you use that to post threat, to post things, um, in using a 1.9. So um, I'm going to stop here, and then I'm going to go ahead over to the um, head over to the other uh, video where you walk through. Well, how does that change um, for using a one point um, a one point uh, X thread, i.e., the X being some number other than nine. Thanks. Bye.